As you can see, this comes in at 700 grams, and this is a British pork belly joint. It's going to remove first. Obviously, the first thing you'll notice is that the skin is still on the on the pork joint. The reason for that is is because um, in the UK, a lot of people will put this in the oven to get a lovely crackling. So the the skin is obviously still on the joint. Dish I'm going to make, I want to remove this skin. So we're just going to be left with the meat itself. So today I'd like to show you how to remove the skin safely. So when I use pork belly, I'm looking for a good ratio of fat to meat. So I would look at a minimum of 20% fat. And I'll go as high as around 50%. because so I like a good ratio of fat to the meat. Obviously the fat is going to bring most of the flavour. It's going to be really soft and tender, melt in your mouth. And the meat itself is going to give you the meaty texture. So it's a great balance between the fats, the tender fat and the meat itself. So you can see there, lovely marbleization of fats within the meat. Good fat content. I would say this was around 50-50 here. So the first thing you want to do is just flatten the skin, like so. In the factory, they've accidentally scored the, uh, the, the skin. So I'm gonna have to remove this in parts. Normally, this will be in one piece, so it'll be easier to uh, cut off. So the first thing you wanna do is just make an incision into one side, and I always start from the corner, like so. Whenever you're cutting the skin off, always angle your knife upwards. If you keep it flat, you're going to run the risk of cutting off this lovely fat, which you want that to remain, and you want that to remain on this side. So always angle your knife upwards. This skin is very tough, so it's very unlikely for you to go through that onto your hand. So now that I've got some skin on the corner, and I've got some purchase on the actual pork belly, and that's not going anywhere, you want to pull the skin in the opposite direction of the direction of your knife strokes. So my knife strokes are gonna be going to the left and the force that I'm putting on this skin is going in the opposite direction, so I'm going that way. You're gonna be much more efficient with your knife strokes and the skin is gonna come off much easier and cleaner. Knife pointing upwards, like so. So you're leaving the fat on the meat side. Again, Knife pointing upwards. Just take it, just take your time. So my knife is gonna point upwards. So when I'm making the strokes, you can actually see the edge of the knife, like so. Do the same with the other side. So again, if you're right-handed, pull the skin to your right and the knife strokes to your left. Now to remove this other side, so it's exactly the same principle. So a little tip for you now, when you're using a knife and cutting pork, it's very greasy, obviously, from the fat. So you wanna wipe the blade often, and then you'll retain the sharp edge of the knife. And there you have one piece of belly joint, skinless, ready for cooking.